What's up guys, um, I'm going to be showing you how to d download and play games on your computer from uh, classic systems. Uh, this can be used for uh, the Super Nintendo, Original Nintendo, Sega, PlayStation, uh, Game Boy, anything, anything you want. Uh, it's very simple, very straightforward, and I'm going to be showing you how to use it. Um, okay, so basically, open up your browser. Simple, right? Alright, now, there are many different websites you can get these things from. Um, I use this one website because it's reliable and it's never let me down before and it has everything you need, so why not? It's called doperoms.com. Hold on. Doperoms.com. I'll put a link in the sidebar. Um, yep. So everything you need is right here on this website. First, you're going to need an emulator. An emulator is the actual console itself. Like if I were going to get it, an N64, uh, an emulator would actually be the black box, but no game. Basically, it's like the console itself, and it's going to run the games for you. So you're going to need to get one of those. Uh, scroll down here. As you can see, very many different consoles, very many different emulators. Um, I'm just going to use my example and go with the 64, because that's my favorite system. Alright, so now we are at the emulators. Uh, once again, there's a big list here. You can choose whatever you want. I personally think Project 64 is the best one, because it's uh, the highest rated. Uh, I've used it for a long time now, and it's never let me down before, so uh, it's the most versatile. You can play online if you have a certain plug-in. The visuals are good. Everything shows up nicely. Uh, controls work well. So this is the best one, in my opinion. Okay, so you're just going to go to download Project 64. Ignore all those advertisements there. Alright, hit download one more time. You're going to want to save the file. Wait for it to download real quick. Alright. Uh, minimize that. Alright, you're going to go to the setup here. Run, of course. Now, I already have this installed, so it's going to be asking me if I want to repair it or modify it or something like that. Basically, all you guys have to do is uh, keep clicking next until you get to install and install it. Blah, blah, blah. You know how it is. Alright. Now you should have like an auto launcher or something and it should you should be getting the program already I'm just gonna open it up here because I already have it installed so okay here we go this is the emulator this is what's gonna run your games alright now you're gonna need some games so let's go back to uh, dope problems here scroll up and as you can see here on the side uh, ROMs. ROMs are the actual games. If the emulator is the console, this would be the cartridge that you would put in it. Uh, so let's go to 64. And here is the list of 64 games in alphabetical order. Uh, there's a search bar here, of course, if you want to look for something or specific. Um, I'm just going to go up here to the top ROMs, which is the most downloaded. Let's go with Majora's Mask. I like that one. Alright. Now, I do have to tell you something. It is illegal to download games that you do not own in, uh, yeah, the, the physical cartridge, I mean. Uh, for this game, I'd have to own the cartridge of Majora's Mask for it to be legal for me to download this. Or if it was a PlayStation game, you'd have to own the CD itself. Um, they do have an option here to buy it. Uh, I'm not sure if that makes it legal to download it or not. Uh, you can go ahead and give it a shot if you want. I'm just going to go ahead and download it since I do own it. And I mean, honestly, the likelihood of you getting caught is slim to none, so go ahead and go for it. I've downloaded very many games before that I don't personally own. Never had any problems, so go ahead. You want to go down here, scroll down to download one more time. Save the file. Let's give it a second here. 
It's a pretty big game, 26 megabytes, so it's going to take a second. Um, what you can do with these is actually you can save them to your flash drive, the emulator and the ROMs. You can take your games wherever you go, which is pretty cool. Uh, if you went to your friend's house or even if you had some free time at school or um, basically whenever you want, uh, you can just uh, plug in your flash drive and play it. Um, I've done that before. And you might have to install it on the computer, I'm not sure. The computer you're using it is. Um, but yeah, it's it's pretty cool anyways. Um, yeah, so let's just hurry up and get this downloaded here. Give it a few more seconds. And then I'll show you how to actually play it. Alright, we're done. Minimize everything real quick. Alright, we're back at Project 64. And as you can see, here's the ROM right here. Um, to play it, it's very simple. File, open ROM. Uh, as uh, We have the Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask here on our desktop. Uh, if you wanted to save it somewhere else, you can do that. Uh, you just look for it and double click. And here we go. The frame rate is good. The frame rate is going to be choppy because uh, I'm recording it off my screen, but it should work perfectly fine on your computer. Let's see here. The game is running fine. Um, this is just telling me something about the graphics. Uh, as you can see, it's still working. Uh, yeah. So here we go. We got Majora's Mask running. All right. So, there you go. Um, let's end this here. It does come with um, a pre-set up control layout, but you can easily change that. You just go to options and hit configure controller plugin. You can change the buttons to wherever you like. Um, if you have an external USB controller, that works fine with this too. I think you just plug it in, click up here, and then you can use that. So yeah, that's basically how you do it. Um, if you like this video or have any questions, feel free to comment or message me. Uh, subscribe would be nice. I'm planning on doing more videos like this, uh, informative stuff. Uh, I do more detailed stuff. This is pretty basic, so I'm planning on doing more videos that are more in-depth. and uh, yeah. So that's about it. Uh, enjoy playing your games. Uh, have fun, and thanks for watching.